we know uh, that with traditional FM systems with a fixed gain, um, people really benefited uh, in, in several situations uh, with, with those systems. But uh, we still had to strike a compromise, and the gain that we would set on those systems um, w may, might be too high for quiet situations, and yet it might not be high enough to allow for optimal speech understanding in noisy situations. And we conducted a study with Dynamic FM with 34 people with cochlear implants. Um, we saw considerable increases in their ability to understand speech and noise with dynamic FM compared to traditional fixed gain FM systems. And in fact, the, the, the group averages or the group means uh, at some noise levels um, approached 40 percentage points, which is almost unheard of to see a 40 percentage point improvement in speech understanding and noise. Um, every single subject, all 34 subjects that we tested in the study, uh, experience or improvements in speech recognition and noise with use of dynamic FM over uh, the traditional fixed gain FM um, because in quiet situations uh, the, the system will mute itself or use a low amount of gain so it's comfortable and the sound quality is, is ideal in those situations and then as the ambient noise level in the environment increases the gain or the strength of the signal from the FM also increases as well so the user can understand speech and noise better than they can with traditional FM and the results of our studies along with the results of Dr. Thibodeau's studies uh, really indicate that you should use this type of FM uh, for all children, all adults that use an FM system, uh, whether they use cochlear implants or hearing aids. I always make a recommendation to consider dynamic FM. Um, we've been able to, to show that speech understanding and noise is much better with dynamic FM compared to traditional fixed gain FM systems. And sound quality will also be better in quiet situations as well. And then all the other nice features that are in that system, like being able to monitor the status and the integrity of the signal provided by the FM system, make it the clear choice for use with, with patients of all ages. Here at Hearts for Hearing, we're big believers in FM use. Uh, we feel like all of our patients should, should use an FM system, whether they have a cochlear implant or a hearing aid. Um, we routinely fit children uh, with hearing aids at two to four weeks of age, and at that time we try to fit an FM system as well, because we know there are several situations um, where uh, children are still going to have difficulty hearing and understanding speech with hearing aids alone, whether that's riding in the car seat, facing away from their mother or father, um, whether it's uh, when they're in the stroller in a grocery store and they're several feet away from their mother or father. Um, situations arise all day long, noisy situations. Uh, with hearing aids, is still not going to be sufficient to allow for a model for speech and language development. Uh, but use of an FM system will support great hearing in those situations. So we make it a, a routine protocol here at Hearts for Hearing to fit dynamic FM on all patients regardless of age.